It's Frank! It's Frank, the guy that helped me out with that, uh... You get your daily delivery. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, buddy. Let me have another tip for you. Ooh, really? Hold on. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry, and Mowers and Blowers. Uh, today is a chilly day. As a matter of fact, it's flaking, unless that's my dandruff. No, it's so cold that it's actually, I saw some snowflakes, believe it or not. Um, as you guys know, yesterday, I ended my video where Frank the UPS guy gave me a tip on a classic snapper lawnmower that I picked up a couple blocks away from my house. Thanks Frank for doing that. Always appreciate your tips. Anyway, so uh, one of my subscribers, Scott Keller, he, um, he told me that that thing's worth $400 all day long. And I'm like, $400? Yeah. Anyway, I've had uh, two other ones, as you guys probably remember. I couldn't get rid of them. I mean, I had to sell it uh, together as a, as a junk load, you know, and uh, I don't even remember what I got for it, maybe $25 or something like that for, for two. But uh, if he thinks it's worth $400, you can have it if you come down and get it. Anyway, I'll show it to you a little bit uh, closer right now. I'm gonna unload the van. Unfortunately, I parked so close to this thing. Henry, why don't you just move the car? It's too much trouble. So when I picked it up, it actually came with this. And I've actually never seen this before. It's a snapperizer. And uh, it's, uh, it's checked there in the middle, which means this is kit number 60440. Right there. 60440. 21 steel. I'll show it to you in a minute. Let me get it out of my truck. I hope I don't scratch my car. Uh, this this one here is a piece of piece of junk that I got for free from the guy in Hicksville because uh, he had a picture of a pretty nice mower and he says free, but when you get there, it's not that picture. You know, it's 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 crap. You know, but I was there already, so I just brought it home. Wheels, gas cap, maybe the engine works. Whatever, you know. Uh, there is a uh, self-propulsion front uh, belt cover that's always worth $10, $15 on eBay all day long. Deck is Dunsky. Deck is Dunsky. It's an old Murray. I figured I'd pick it up if it was, uh, if it was in good shape because I have a lot of Murray bags. So, you know, if this thing worked, put my Murray bag on it, it'd be worth more, you know? But it's not the case, because this thing's falling apart. Junk. All right, so here's the snapper. I will say, it appears that the bag is in very good condition. Well, there's a little nick here. But this, uh, it's a quick and easy catcher. Looks like it's in pretty decent shape, you know, given the age. Of course, I don't really know exactly what age it is, but I'm thinking 80s, just looking at the engine. Ooh, I better be careful, it's worth $400, you know. Maybe this uh, Snapperizer cardboard box is worth $100. No, I, not, not, the, not the winter, uh, the snapperizer itself. I mean the box, the box could be worth $50 because it's so rare, you know? Never seen them before. <sighs> this is gonna be kind of tricky to get down. It's pretty heavy. As you can see, the uh, handle's broken. Ooh. 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 Hmm. 
Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna give you guys a better look at this. So this is my recent pickup uh, of just free stuff, you know? Frank the UPS guy told me about this yesterday. Uh, Frank the UPS guy told me about this the day before yesterday. This one here I saw on Let Go or Facebook, I forget. Anyway, here you go. Ooh, I just ruined the box. Box might be worth $50. Anyway, so this is called a uh, snapperizer. I've never seen it before. I've never seen anybody do a video on it. There is a video of a guy who says he has a snapperizer in his snapper and he's mowing his lawn in action. Uh, a, you, uh, a subscriber actually told me to go look, you know, YouTube search it, whatever, and I found it, but it doesn't show you how to install it. It doesn't show it installed in there. It just shows a snapper and they mention snapperizer, but you never really see it or know how to put it on so I I mean there's no videos on this at all except for maybe two but you don't see anything you know they just say oh it has a snapperizer kit on it anyway so I might do a video now since there is none right on how to install the snapperizer kit and apparently this goes underneath the deck yeah you have to take the blade off install this put the blade back on these studs here go through the three holes that are in the deck and these and this uh, the the four springs clip on the outside of the rim, I guess. Um, I'd have to look at it a little bit more closely, but uh, apparently this helps it mulch and shred the uh, uh, grass and leaves so that it's pulverized. It's designed to be worked with con in conjunction with the high vac bagger as a vacuum, you know. Um, but they say that if you don't, if you use this. For um, wet grass or you know long grass, it'll clog very easily. So it's designed to just take a half an inch off the top in very dry conditions, uh, where you know it will really mow and shred leaves up very easily. But it's in pretty decent shape, and I will admit I've never seen this before or heard of it. Today I heard of it. So um, there's no gas cap, see? And there's a wire sticking out of it. The only wire this could be, magneto kill wire. Or, yeah, that's, that's the only reason why this thing would have a wire. Magneto kill. Here's a better look at it. It's a four house horsepower. Briggs and Stratton. This looks like the Pulsa Jet type carburetor that are on some 2000, early nine, late 90 mowers, you know, with the Pulsa Jet. What goes wrong with this all the time is the diaphragm inside. When that gets worn, it just doesn't work. got oil in it but it's black like I said no gas cap it's got a throttle Let's see if it has any compression oh boy <laughs> seized this is probably the kind that has the ball bearings inside you know they always seize. Um, so, if you're telling me that this is worth four hundred dollars, I'd say you'd be uh, you'd be smoking some doo doo. Okay. Shouldn't stick your hand under there, Henry. Trust me, this is not going to start. It's so hard to to move the blade. <clears throat> Yep. So you ready for this?
I'm just going to take a picture of this along with the snapperizer, right? List it for a hundred bucks just to see if any nut would want to bite on this, right? Keep going down in increments of 25, 75 the next week, 50 the next week, $25 the next week. And if still nobody buys it, I might try to fabricate this chute to fit on my um, Toro 6160 turn. This could be, the, if this fits my side chute, I have the MTD upper chute and that uh, big Toro, um, it's called an easy dump or easy catch or something like that. Anyway, it's a dump from the seat kind of uh, bagger system. Maybe in the summer I'll, I'll do that kind of project, you know, get a bagger on my zero turn. This thing, this is a piece of junk. 